Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape now for this featherweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Pantera. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Where's that high kick? <laughs> Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. I mean, the hand speed just absurd. Huge block there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. 
And both guys really throwing with authority. Just misses there with the left. Ooh, what a head kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. But he gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Under three minutes remain in round one. Punch over the top. hip into that leg kick. Nice punch, man. Big body kick. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. They continue to exchange. Well, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Nice straight punch. Just out of range with that right hook. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. And he landed the right hand there. Twenty seconds to go. Blocks the shot. Massive head kick. How about those five minutes? All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, let's get to round two. Oh, big punch land. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 
he's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big kick lands. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Hands higher, hands higher. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Circling to his right. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. That's a big strike right there. He loaded up on that right hand too. Just missed with the left there. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Nice. There's no give on that leg kick. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. There's no tell on that leg kick. Right hand on point. Beautiful head kick. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offer in there. Nice. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Hey, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Big knee there. Oh! Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, there's an effective counter with a straight punch. And again, he's got the reach advantage that has certainly helped him manage distance here tonight. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Attempts the front kick there. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Able to land with the left hand there. Come on, man. Let's get that takeout. Out of range with that kick attempt. And they separate. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier. Oh! was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every round of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Nocturne Pantera. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.